Welcome to your Best Kept Business Secret podcast. And now it's in its rightful home of bestkeptbusinesssecret.co.uk, but we'll talk about that later. How are you doing? Seriously, how are you doing? It's June the 1st today and things are changing. As we speak, people are slowly coming out of the isolation of the pandemic to reopen their small businesses and offices. But is it just me that feels that there is something in the air, that there are two camps and the people in the first camp don't want to admit they're there, but they certainly are. These are the business owners who, for a myriad of reasons, have let things eat away at them, get to them, let recent events and troubles pile up in the wastebasket that is called this shit show. So let's talk about what's going on and how you can beat the worry and the fear of doing business in the new norm with the system that the legend that is Brian Tracy came up with and made so simple, even I can follow it. I am Mark Ford, coach, author, and editor for the Best Kept Business Secret website and magazine, helping you get the small business your hard work truly deserves. And let's get stuck in. So today is June the 1st. Today, some of the lockdown restrictions that have plagued our lives, let alone our businesses, are relaxed. And over the last few days and weeks, I've noticed some distinct splits in the mentality of the small business fraternity. There are those that are raring to go, looking at this as an opportunity, and are going over the top to get their businesses back on their feet and trading again. And there are the others where fear and anxiety about the future seems to be paralyzing their decisions, their activities, and just plainly getting on with it. Overcoming fear is essential to your success. The future belongs to the risk takers, not the security seekers. Life is perverse in that sense, I guess, and the more you seek security, the less of it you have. But the more you seek opportunity, the more likely it is that you will achieve the security that you desire. Go figure. So stop worrying and develop courage for the future. Now, one way to stop worrying and get the courage to begin is to plan and prepare thoroughly in advance. Set some clear goals and objectives rather than just gather information. Read and research in your chosen field. Write out some detailed plans of action and then take the first steps forward to relieving the stress. The second kind of courage is the courage to endure, to persist, to stay at it once you've begun. You see, persistence is a form of courageous patience and it is one of the rarest forms of courage. Courage, Courageous patience is having the ability to stand firm after you've begun and before you get any feedback or results from any of your actions. To plan your work and work your plan and persist persistently in the face of disappointment and unexpected setbacks. You see, we live in a world where everything is almost delivered on a plate nowadays. Next day delivery or the same day delivery. We've been conditioned so that the fact that over the last 10 or 11 weeks, we've had to become patient. It isn't a bad thing, you know. Now, consciously choose to associate and be around some other business owners who seem to be positive and unafraid of life. Get away from those negative people who are always pointing out the reasons to be insecure and afraid to stop worrying. So control your suggestive environment carefully and especially your human environment if you want to become the exceptional business person that you truly can be. Now because of the law of expression, a tremendous way to build up courage in yourself and stop worrying is to encourage others at every opportunity. So go and tell some others to go for it and that they can do it. See, the more you encourage and reinforce others, the more encouraged and confident you will feel. The last type of fear is worry, and worry is a form of negative goal setting. Worry is a sustained form of fear caused by indecision. If you worry long enough and hard enough about something, you're just going to attract it in your life. The fact is that most of the things that people worry about never actually happen. One of the most powerful techniques ever developed to overcoming fear, stopping worrying and relieving stress is what Brian Tracy calls the worry buster. Now, many people have come back to me and said that this simple method has changed their attitudes from negative to positive 
and enabled them to be more effective in their work and their personal lives than they ever, ever thought possible. So let's talk about the four steps to worry busting and overcoming your fear. Now, step one is to define the problem or situation that you are worrying about clearly in writing. The best way to do this is take a pad of paper, draw a line from the top to the bottom, right down the middle. On the left hand side of the pad, write a clear description of your problem. The answer to the question, what exactly am I worrying about? Now fully 50% of all problems can be solved at this definition stage. In medicine, they say it's accurate diagnosis is half the cure. Many of our worries exist because we've not taken the time to sit down and really define clearly what it is that's actually bothering us. Step two is to write out the worst possible outcome of the worrying situation. On the right hand side of the page, answer the question, what is the worst possible thing that can happen as a result of this problem. You may lose your money, you may lose your relationship, lose your job, your investment, your health or your prestige. Whatever it is, just write it down. Now steps one and two will quickly start relieving the stress that causes the worry. What we have found is that it is resistance to facing the worst possible outcome that causes most of the anxiety and the stress associated with worry. Now, once you've written down the worst possible thing that can happen, you'll find that you will slowly stop worrying. Step three is to resolve to accept the worst possible outcome should it ever occur. Just say to yourself, well, if it happens this way, I'll just learn to live with it. Once you've resolved to accept the worst, should it occur, you no longer have anything to worry about. All the stress caused by denial, by refusing to face what the worst could be, just suddenly disappears. Step four is to begin immediately to improve upon the worst. Having resolved to accept the worst, should it occur, now think of everything that you could possibly do to make sure that the very worst doesn't occur. Once you stop worrying and have resolved to accept the worst, your mind will become calm and clear and capable of creative thought. By overcoming fear, you are now in a position to do well, something incredibly constructive. Begin relieving stress and take some action. Now, the mastery of overcoming fear and the development of courage are essential prerequisites for a happy, successful life. You can systematically train yourself to the point where if one day when someone asks, what have you always wanted to do but have always been afraid to attempt, you'll be able to answer nothing. You will eventually reach the point where your fears have diminished to such a degree that they are no longer playing a major role in your decision making. You will have the courage to set big, challenging, exciting goals and you'll have the confidence of knowing that, well, you can attain anything. You will be able to face every situation with calmness and self-assurance and you'll not be afraid of anybody or anything. And as your fears die away and your courage grows, your potential becomes unlimited. And look, it's a difficult thing to do and all I can say is it's going to take some time and effort to change it. Don't let this time pass you by. Otherwise, there's a very good chance that you'll be sat at the end of your bed, the end of your sofa or in a socially distanced park somewhere and wish you'd mustered the strength and the power to do what you need to do to get you through this. Trust me, you got this. And that's it for this episode of the podcast, helping you get the business your hard work truly deserves. And now it's in the new home, which is the new website, which is bestkeptbusinesssecret.co.uk, where every day we'll be sharing practical ideas, thoughts, strategies, interviews, blogs, videos, and so much more for all you small business owners. Download our free online magazine and get the business that your hard work truly deserves. I have been Mark Ford, I am the original Best Kept Business Secret, and guys, best of luck, I'll see you on the other side.